right. Hello, here we go, Norse. This is just bad matchup after bad matchup, isn't it? I'm going to find everyone who plays <laughs> Norse in real life and just beat them to within an inch of their fucking life. <laughs> it's just like constant. <laughs> constant shit. <laughs> it's either it's either strong teams or Norse. Ugh. Up against Jason D. A death roll in the half fast. Oh dear. I really hope you can repaint them in Blood Bowl 3. That'd be real nice, wouldn't it, if you could repaint your models like totally. So you could put like fucking just totally make the death roll. Mm. Why not? Kill Matronics, what else would I have taken? <laughs> He's fucking nuts. <laughs> No, if you, no, no, you couldn't. Like you, you know, like if you could, you could select each piece and then paint it like so. Sh each shoulder pad, and the shirt and stuff like that, and the patterns you could select and just and do it like that. Obviously, you wouldn't let people write cunt on them. Oh, you made me say it, you bastard, humorous chimp. <laughs> you made me say it. You forced me to say the c word. Yeah, I think that would be the obvious thing to do. <laughs> yeah, but you made me say it against my will. You forced me to. It's so unfair. Yeah, I think that's what the I think that's what they will do. Seeing as they said, well. They said we wanted to make it. We wanted to do this. They didn't say they did it. They said they wanted to, to make more customization. So to me, the obvious way to make it more customization and to make it like tabletop would be to make parts paintable, right? And then you could just totally make it like... Uh, like they did that in uh, in Space Hulk and stuff games like that, haven't they? They've done that in Space Hulk games. Uh, just make the... Make the different pieces of armor paintable, and you write that you you wouldn't want them to be able to write the c word on it, or or also just penises. That's something that people would draw on, wouldn't they? Hopefully, you'd be able to save them, wouldn't you? After you did the after you did the the paint jobs. Actually, follow the chat. What? <laughs> who's this? Who's this woman, right? In this fucking Avengers game, where you've got a lot of Avengers, and then you've got some idiot woman with stretchy fucking arms. I, what, what? Whose idea was this? Honestly, literally, whose idea was that? Let's have like six Avengers and some dickhead. Stupid. <laughs> yeah, I just don't think they'll do that RF-89 just because of them, them doing it exactly like the, the Blood Bowl miniatures. Uh, And <laughs> out of touch idiot. Well, yes, I am out of touch with children's comics. Yes, Guru. But if you're going to make Captain America look like, you know, famous actor Chris Evans, and if you're going to make Black Widow look like famous actress Scarlett Johansson, you probably shouldn't have some character from the comics that no one cares about. <laughs> <laughs> it, well, the, the trailer he looks just like him. It, 
it's excellent, is it? Mm. Try says trash game. <laughs> oh, Skuro. It just seems silly to me they haven't got the uh, the movie one who's ridiculously overpowered, isn't it? They could have had that Miss Marvel one. Kamala. Wasn't he a wrestler, Kamala? <laughs> Very good advert. I'm not a fan. I just watched it because my mates went and I went with them. <laughs> I don't. I don't like them at all. I've watched loads of them. <laughs> I just literally don't like any of them. But uh, my friends went and I went with them. <laughs> Should it be a game for adult men, though? Probably not, right? Get him in there. Don't know where the blitz is coming. These fucking pushers. I can go there and then punch him again. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah, that seems about right. Just an average game against Norse, isn't it? Average fucking game against Norse, this. Push, 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 push. Good old I'm going to find everyone who plays Norse in real life and just beat them to within an inch of their fucking life. <laughs> oh, God. Didn't make a removal with his instant hit back. That's nice. <laughs> because it's Skuro Metz or Humorous Chimp, so he's got to be in his bonnet about that sort of thing. <laughs> or he's joking, one of the two. <laughs> Oh, 
Hey, good. Good. That's what you get. Off to the other side. Dwarfing man's. He can power him, then he can power him. He can power him. I'll blitz him, I guess. And he wandies him at the end. If you want to be part of Team Positive, then uh, you've got to fucking suck it up. Stop bitching like a little baby and try and fucking play better. Eh? Hey. I really like the A at the end of that. You can blitz the uh, Yeti free here, can't we? Which is nice. No, I can't because I'll just get a fucking bolt down. I think I've got to re-roll that just to not get surfed, actually. Now that I think about it. Phew. Really important power on it to get the extra 2D hit. And a removal, lovely jubbly. I was hoping I, w I wouldn't have to follow. I was hoping I'd get the arm breaks, I wouldn't have to follow. Hopefully, it's not that bad to follow. I've got to do one day, haven't I, just in case? Nah. Never lucky. Oh, real red hair. Yeah, did power him. Did power him. Imola. Nice, well done. <laughs> yeah, Muppet, yeah, he's quite good, isn't he? He's quite good, the, the runner, running from side to side to make two dice blocks. Because yet he goes stupid here. There's a hit on the ball, isn't there, potentially? But maybe I've played too many games against Space Cadet to go chasing balls. Frenzy trap, blockless, le blockless, wee wee wee. He doesn't even take the frenzy trap. He just gets knocked down. <laughs> well, that is next level. I did not see that coming. <laughs> I'm not going to go for the ball. <laughs> the runner is going to run around the other side to make a 2db. Oh, 
come around to here. Good lad, get some guard in. <laughs> Norseman balls. <laughs> That's brilliant. Tony. <laughs> oh god, Jason Norseman balls. <laughs> oh, please stick to the chaos and the dwarfs that you used to. <laughs> Go on, double skull. Shit. Looking a pretty strong potato, isn't it? Hard to get the tacklers back. Especially if he knocks them both over here. Halloween, Gary. <laughs> yeah, it was brilliant. Don't go chasing the Norsemen. I just didn't see it till now. That was brilliant. Oh, you only got a push? Happy days. Now I can be really just as disappointed as I am when I play against Space Cadet. <laughs> 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 glorious. Now I get to no, be really I won't disappointed. Give in no, maybe I'm not. Until I'm victorious, and I will defend. I will defend. Oh, title shot. Title shot. <laughs> A glorious tie. Tie. Title shot. J M M G. Oh, J M M G. Thank you very much. Pauline Gary. Um, I tell you what, I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to have a fucking. We've got. We've got Ordont and uh, and Dimmy and Lean Gary. We've got to have a four way for the title. Right, just need a power here. Right, need a power. But what what happens on a push? Then I guess I just do the dodge. Yeah, I just gotta make the dodge if this is a push. Fucking course it is. What if I 1D him? Oh, if I go for the 1D into the 2D. Oh, that's nice. Okay, that's what's happening. The 1D into the 2D. That's what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> oh, pound him! <laughs> oh, brilliant! <laughs> That's fucking brilliant, isn't it? Just trying to get the push into the tackler. And then, uh, did one better than that. He could 1D to get him free later. I'd love to double GFI. Because then that really controls him, doesn't it?
Maybe I just one D here. One, two, three, four. yeah, okay, one one D, that's better. Is it? No. <laughs> no, not really. But it's kind of is, because then he gets in without uh without any fuss then, doesn't he? Okay, it gives him this hit, which isn't ideal. <laughs> yeah, try. It was just trying for a push, though, wasn't it? You know, it was a three plus to get two D on the ball. That was the. That's what I was. That's the way it was. It was. That was the play. It was just a three plus to get a two D on the ball, and yet randomly rolled a six. It was very nice. <laughs> I mean, I know you know, try, but you know somebody who was, somebody who was new to Blood Bowl and maybe in a Discord specifically designed for people who are new to Blood Bowl, might not have seen that. So I would clarify things like that for people who were maybe new to Blood Bowl Views and in a Discord in stream are not for people specifically made happened. for people who are new to Blood Bowl <laughs> who might miss that sort of thing. But instead, <laughs> they know better than me themselves already. <laughs> oh, is this clever? This is a big frenzy trap, though. Yep. Yeah. Oh, you re rolled it. Yeah, like Fenian trying to help. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I was not appreciated. I was. Oh, you motherfucker! I was not appreciated, though. That wasn't great, was it? That <laughs> <laughs> was all right. To be fair, he's had some bad dice this game, hasn't he? Like when I say he's had some bad dice, he's he's rolled. What, two double skulls? And, uh... Like, it's not a dicing or anything, but he's uh, he's had his fair share of bad dice. It's not just been... It's not been a norsing. <laughs> it's not been a norsing yet at all. The one day on the ball that was randomly a power was funny. No, we haven't had the instant, the instant full space cadet yet. Oh wow! If he fails the pickup, he gets served. Interesting strategy, Cotton. Unfortunately, this guy's got to go in here, hasn't he? No, he's not served. Now, oh, there's this guy over here. He's a bit of a problem. Just one GFI to base him, isn't it? One GFI to herp derp him at the end. And then blitz him. One, two, three, four, five. Back or GFI the loner. And then one, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, go for the pickup first. Got a loner reroll this. Okay, don't have to. Did 
Can I go here? Shit. Maybe just go there then here, in an eye cage, a cheeky eye cage, good enough. Three turns, just in range. One square to spare. Dorf, dorf, dorf. Beating the power of Norse, Norse, Norse thus far. But the Yeti is always a danger, isn't he? The always dangerous Yeti. He doesn't have 90 blow, so he's not that scary, to be fair. Hamilton, are we going to get a penalty? And then his fucking dude said, I believe we got a penalty. Ooh. Race suspended. What's happened? Red flag. Who's blitzing? He's... Oof. Oh, the Ferraris smashed a bit. Oh, <laughs> ye old one day. Disgusting. <laughs> and he gets the stun. Oh. Oh, that's an annoying stun, isn't it? That would have been very easy to get out of without the stun. Now we've got to feed a guard to him, I think. Three players to make a cage. Doesn't seem ideal. Especially when two of them are slow as fuck. Two, three, four, five, six, dodge, GFI. It's kind of unrealistic. 2D him and then run through here easily. So no, I've got to, got to, got to cover the back. He's already free, so might as well try to make him not free. I've already stood up. All right then.
cache clairement le corps à corps. Hello, Fault Force. Dorf, 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 Dorf. Indeed. He's only got 11 players, hasn't he? So he's going to have 10 at max. That's good. Maybe 9 for the second half. They've been, yeah, there have been a few dives already on the team fall force, to be honest. Dwarves can indeed be heard. You are not, no. Probably should have put you on there, shouldn't I, fault force, seeing it's essentially a fault force tribute team. But I just put people who were, uh, who were, you know, redeemed, get on the team. I thought it was kind of a fair thing to do. A Velociraptor with a flamethrower. Hey! Nice. Right, we need to power him again. Somehow. No armor break though, never lucky. Never lucky. Oh, I should have tagged him. Mm. Really gotta make this dodge, haven't I? There's nothing else to do but make this dodge. I can't really protect him with one. Two, three, four, five, six, and he's got to go to here. Who's going to make this dodge? Phew. Oh, got a reroll. Might as well try to tag him. No, oh, block him for no, I don't want to free him, do I? It doesn't matter, he's too far away. God, it's been ages since I've done that, isn't it? <laughs> Beast Battle Simulator or something, wasn't it? That was pretty great. Brachiosaurus with uh... a. <laughs> With flamethrower on it, that was the one. Velociraptor with shotgun. Penguins. Yep. Those were the days. One in nine. Oh, little bastard. Glad he didn't make the GFI with the uh, Ulf though, I mean, it, the Ulf marking with Strength 4 was much better, wasn't it? <laughs> what are you on about, Volfos? <laughs> you crazy bastard. Oh, huge dodge. Or a 
purple cunt. Yeah, but she's she's been a sub for about three years, Fault Force. <laughs> oh dear. Alright, oh we can punch in. That's good. Completely irrelevant punch. Right, so obviously I can't dodge to blitz. Do I just one D? Or do I just dodge? If I just dodge, just dodge. Because I'd be having a GFI, wouldn't I? Probably. I oh, indeed. Glorious. 1 0 up. Stay out, stay out, stay out, you fucker. You still re remove one, one Norseman in an entire half. Like, you know, that's pretty good, isn't it? About 40 blocks against Armour 7. Remove one player. That's pretty, that's pretty incredible. Perma-ban. Oh. Being perma-ban from iRacing is quite an achievement, Fault Force. <laughs> that is quite an achievement. <laughs> it's a pot on a moustache. Oh dear. Are you going to sign up as not fault force? Jay can style could level here, couldn't he? Right, he's on five. These are on five. These have to make the blocks, right? These guys that are on five to maybe, uh, maybe get their dream level ups. For real, not fault force. <laughs> Hello, Shawnee. Blitz. No, unbelievable. Oh, and caught it as well. Oh, come on, fuck him up. And you. To fuck that up, I'm gonna find getting... everyone who plays Norse in real life and just to, beat uh, them blitz. to within an inch of their fucking life. Hello, Ali Yeti. <laughs> yeah, Vorkas, exactly. But so far, they haven't completely destroyed us, so that's good. And in fact, they've actually had a player removed. So we're beating the odds so far. Attack of 
Putting three guarders on the uh, Yeti should be effective, shouldn't it? against the Yeti. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI. One, two, three, four, five, six, yes, yeah, so I've got here. Two went up, glorious. Yak with HMP, glorious, well done, Lean Gary. Have you won every game so far? Or undefeated? I saw you doing quite well. Lost, huh? Oh, well, they're just doing the same as me then. Nearly the also runs. <laughs> We're doing the same as me. I'm only two. Only two one. Oh, he's just going to uh, one D with a Yeti on that activating. Interesting. Doesn't even need the Yeti to make armor breaks. Anytime you want, mate. Does the one day glorious end the turn for fuck's sake? <laughs> end the fucking turn, man. Amazing, amazing makes the one day gets punished. All is right with the world. Not dead. 
dead though, is he? <laughs> yeah, maybe that's what he was looking for. Hey. Hello, Agent Orange. Maybe he blocks. forward. That seems pretty good. And then we can make the old dodge. Oh, never lucky. Absolute dicing. Can't believe it. Three stuns is nice, actually, isn't it? It's just... How do you take advantage of that? Good thing is, I guess, being 1-0 up, you don't have to do anything more. In fact, should be trying to hand off to a Longbeard. One of these two. Yeah, but it is pretty good not having the score, isn't it? Well, he's not going to score, is he? Oh, I had, the, I had two! Shit! Forgot I had the extra one. Well, <laughs> he's still not going to score, is he? Shit! <laughs> no tuddy for him. Oh, that was a real bad non-apo. I was sick of my players dying, so I thought I won't, I won't apo non-perms, and just completely forgot about the bloody apo. I don't want to split my team up, so <laughs> I'm going to go for the little bit risque based cage, relying on 1D, fucking nightmare, bullshit strategy, this is looking really, oh I was such a bad non-apple. Oh, I mean, he's only a rookie, but still, it was a be, it'd be a guy on the field and maybe somebody to hand off to. This does open the chance of like him doing something, but at the end of the day I thought it's worth, I could only split my team up, do I? So if I ran away the other side, those three are isolated. Don't want to isolate those boys. Si 
joueurs sont tout proches. Le combat paraît inévitable. He's gonna base the ball. What a legend. Oh man, I hope I make some fucking removals after this. I hope derping turn. Mm, pushes into an no, arc, I've got a pot down. So he has to block him. And then he can come in to blitz him. Le ballon est en sécurité. A l'autre équipe de prouver le contraire. On libère le porteur de balle, c'est propre. He might as well. Block with him. Zoop up. Really punishing is Herb Derping here, anyway, that's really good. Alright, so got this covered, I guess. Yeah, it's alright, isn't it? Ball's safe for another turn. Getting a bit tricky, isn't it? At some point, you need AV breaks and stuff. Oh, lovely, lovely wild animal fail. This might be enough to uh, break through. I'm gonna find everyone who plays <laughs> Norse in real life and just beat them to within an inch of their fucking Yeah, life. Norse are worse than everything. Norse are absolutely worse than everything. Right, go on, non guard man. Get in. Yikes. Right, so I could base him and then blitz. Just blitz him and get a knockdown and run through here. I think that's probably the best way of doing it. Oh, uh, there's a guy here. <laughs> 
Guess it's not a problem. <laughs> Can the Yeti get me? One, two. One, two, three, four, five, GFI, GFI, not really. Got the GFI, so GFI in here might help. I could just one DM. Then I need the double GFI for one DM. Because he could dodge away, couldn't he? He could dodge away anyway. Ha ha ha, super. So good at football. Check me out. Yeah, but you shouldn't do rolls just because you've got re-rolls, should you? You know, like... It's still safer to only make one two plus than make three two pluses, isn't it? Even though you've got the re-roll, so I still don't like just doing them just because I've got the re-roll. <laughs> you did the five plus! <laughs> it fucking did as well. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Easy five plus. Wow. And gets the armor break. It always seems huge. Every time he gets an armor break, it always seems huge. Like, he hasn't got many of them. And maybe it's just because Dwarves are movement 4 and it seems worse, but... Like, if that hadn't been an armor break, it'd be an easy... Easy blitz on him, and everything would have been fine, wouldn't it? Yeah, I'm sure he didn't see it. Or he didn't want to make the frenzy trap, but I mean, he, it's still better because he might have just made the power. He's gonna, he's gonna hit him now anyway. <laughs> Horrible reroll, I think, using his last reroll on that. Maybe not, but maybe because that guy's free anyway. GFI into them and punch him as well, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Alright, fuck it. <laughs> Plim plum fuck. need the power here. Did not get the power. Alright. Made the dodge anyway. This guy can hit him. Can't leave these free. He can't really dodge. He's gonna have to. He's gonna have to do the dodge. Not bad. Not bad. He can't reach anywhere, so punch him. Probably well, best to leave him there. And leave these guys occupied. Not terrible. <laughs> Would have been made a lot easier with that guy not being stunned, but not terrible. Ce joueur 
préfère se battre entouré. Comme le lapin de Harvissel, ce joueur dure vraiment, vraiment du temps. is going to free up the Yeti. Needs a power though. Gets it. Of course he does. Push would have been no good. And he needs the 2 plus. Gets it. Oh, doesn't get the power yet. Hey, he doesn't get the power. But obviously, he's strength five. <laughs> So I guess just uphill. And then one, two, three, four, five, easy. Didn't have any hour yet. Because uh, I was practicing for Blood Bowl 3, that was the idea. And I thought I'd try no, no Troll Slayers. And normally I use one. I think I will do one, even in Blood Bowl three so it was worth it wasn't it? it was worth it i found out that even in blood bowl three i would want to do because i was thinking you know you could min max harder without one um he does have a scoring threat can't base him Right, that's two, two, two dice blocks where I rolled a skull. <laughs> oh boy, this is going to be a draw, isn't it? And <laughs> both skulls. <laughs> I made four two dice blocks and everyone had a skull in. Oh, look at this. What a fucking joke of a throwing that was. <laughs> Jesus Christ. God, that was disappointing. <laughs> Get off my fucking. Then what's changing your mind? <laughs> They're a bit slow, aren't they? They're like, you know, he's a bit faster, isn't he? And having the frenzy is nice, and having the dauntless is nice. Like, you're really slow without the troll slayer. No, nowhere near as good, Frosty. Uphill is uphill is like seventy percent of work. So it's like it's brilliant. I was five. I didn't need a GFI either. That it was it was super likely. One, two, three, four, five. So I just needed anything but a skull. I guess yeah. There would been less chance to scatter off. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No. All right. So that is really good odds. I could have do four plus dodge then uphill. I guess. That might have been better, just because of the failure state. But, um, yeah, okay, in terms of failure state not going out, 
Now, obviously, it could have gone this way or this way. <laughs> so it was also, there was it was only a three and eight of it going out and then a one and eight really of it coming this way and then it being a double six. So like it was the absolute worst possible scatter, like ridiculous scatter wise. Hello Zenai. So it's stupidly unlucky scatter and everything. But um, he seems to have messed it up somehow. So that's nice of him. <laughs> He's managed to mess it up. Could still roll some dice here though, of course. No re-rolls though. Good. Phew. Yeah, it was a, it was a lot more likely to, to succeed doing the uphill, but that is that is a point of the failure state. Yeah. But I mean it was just so unlikely. I think it was definitely worth to do. Yeah, yeah, red dice is super, super reliable. It's, it's, because it's like, it's two dice, trying to get a six on either dice is like 30%, isn't it? So it's like, it's, it's about 70% for an uphill, well, it's got, it's got it there, 69.4 instead of 66.6. .6. So an uphill block is better than a three plus dodge, more likely, but there was the failure state to consider. Oh, well, the guy who wanted to score on got MVP anyway, so... That was all right, wasn't it? Yeah, when, when all you need is not a skull, it's really good. Like obviously if you had stand firm or block, then uh, then it doesn't look anywhere near as good. But when you just need a push, it's it's pretty damn reliable. Like when you've got wrestles, when you've got wrestle strip uh, gutter runners and stuff, it's like super likely. The likes of the the chunter, the chunter, ball strikes. They're they're pretty they're pretty reliable actually, even though they're uphills. Like it's okay. The the the, the failure state is horrible when you uh, skull, but when you don't skull, you get the ball, don't you? Right. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.